Let's let's pivot to Golden State though, Zeke. Andrea Godala clearly hampered by a back injury. We don't know the extent of it at this point. It seems to be a muscular sort of thing, but two days rest, how much concern do you have for, for his ability to perform on Sunday? Well, you, you have a lot of concern, you know, when you're dealing with the back and, and what he means to this team defensively and also their versatility. Uh, and if I'm Golden State, you know, you, you're looking at this team and, and you, you're starting to see just some, some chinks in the armor. Uh, you know, Draymond is suspended for game five. And then in the game six, you see Curry out of character, uh, lose his cool. And then the coach, Steve Kerr, comes to the press conference and it's bound to be a fine oh for, yeah. Oh yeah. you know, criticizing the officials. You're going home to a game seven and you're playing a team that you've lost three out of the last four to, you know, by an average of close to 18 points. So... You know, when you're looking at, you know, who has kind of the control right now, you're saying Cleveland does. Now you give Golden State the advantage because they're at home and they've been the best team. But you are looking at a team now that's, that we haven't seen in terms of just being out of character. Right now. Well, uh, Jared, it's, it's just Andrea Iguodala was here a few minutes ago um, and talked to the media. And, you know, he said he's making progress. He was able to do most of the practice today. It wasn't a, a, a huge practice in terms of physicality walk through obviously more than scrimmage but he was able to get through a lot um, he was able to uh, get some treatment on Friday night the team's physical therapist came to his house he said he doesn't like he doesn't like letting people in his house but he let her in and they worked on his back and it, it helped um, the days off the two days off as opposed to one have helped um, he said he will spend the rest of today getting more treatment watching the third round of the U.S. Open, and watching the last episode of The Sopranos, which for some reason he has never seen before. So he will be doing all of that on Saturday night as he gets ready for Sunday. As far as tomorrow goes, he says he found some things that he thinks will allow him to stay on the court and be uh, uh, a contributor in Game 7. Uh, so he feels like he can get through it. The question is how many minutes can he, can he play without that back seizing up on him. I think that's going to be where there's going to be some give and take probably between him, the coaching staff, the training staff, the medical staff, to see do you play, do you want him to play 12 to 14 really hard minutes, or do you want to try to spread out 24, 26 minutes over the course of a game? Probably what we're talking about. But, you know, game seven, I'm sure he's going to play as long as he, as he needs to. The question is how can he play effectively, and that's what I'm talking about in terms of minutes.